The first season of Velma is officially in the history books. The controversial HBO Max series over the course of the last few months have been the subject of harsh online discourse and conversation. Both critics and fans alike seem to unanimously agree that Velma offers very little to the fan base in terms of entertainment. At the forefront of the controversy, we find Mindy Kaling as the voice of Velma and subsequently, executive producer of what HBO Max calls a hit series. Pitched to fans as an adult-themed origin story centered around the titled character as she investigates why you did not like and subscribe to this video, pushback against the announcement was swift and harsh. The controversial casting choices for fan-favorite characters, Daff, Velma, and Shaggy brought into question the studio's true motives as a debate over a woke agenda became the centerpiece of online discourse. A self-insertion from the lead voice actress Mindy Kaling left a sour taste in many disgruntled Scooby-Doo enthusiasts' mouths. A once-beloved IP that formed part of many's childhoods, reduced to nothing more than penis jokes and childish humor. A children's IP turned into an adult theme animation with childish humor. Ironic if it wasn't so depressing. Sitting at a lowly 7% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes and a depressing 42% from critics, even these abysmal numbers have not been enough to circumvent accusations of sexism and racism against those who dare to commit the unforgivable sin of not enjoying the show. News outlets and Twitter activists have been relentless in their defense of the show fiercely debating the social views of anyone who dares to offer an opinion outside the mainstream narrative. Although review bombing and those pushing back against any level of diversity in entertainment might exist, they make up a small portion of the larger fan base disgruntled over the complete overhaul of this iconic IP. The majority of the pushback has been against the writers for their juvenile and poor writing abilities, overhauling a classic cartoon that needed no real adult spin. Retellings and reimaginings have been happening since the beginning of television. If done correctly, it can rejuvenate an old classic and bring new life in and with it a brand new audience to enjoy the show or movie. For every Velma, there is a Wednesday that works to respect the source material and honor what made the original so great, to begin with. Despite all the criticism and poor reviews from disgruntled fans, HBO Max has has insisted that Velma is a smashing hit. High viewership numbers have been touted by the network as WB insists that the controversial series debuted as the best ever animation on their streaming servers. Although that accomplishment rings as hollow as the jokes within Velma, it was enough to land showrunners a second season despite earlier reports suggesting that the show was cancelled. Rumors or maybe wishful thinking started to make the rounds online that we would not get another season after internet detectives unraveled that executive producer Mindy Kaling has scrubbed the internet of past tweets referring to the show. She previously touted online that Velma was number one on HBO Max, a tweet that has since been deleted along with other references as well. In reality, it is far more likely that the owners of Warner Bros requested the removal of any controversial tweets that might reflect poorly on the network. With a show as divisive as Velma, it is understandable why they would maybe not be in favor of any controversial discourse that could lead to them bleeding subscribers. Alternatively, Kaling could have also just scrubbed her feet of any Velma references as the blowback from the show might be too much for her to handle. No one wants to be reminded of their failures. Speculation regarding the deleted tweets does not matter, however, as confirmation from Warner Bros. ended all discourse about a potential cancellation. There is a couple of things that should be noted though. Although WB has confirmed that they are in fact working on season 2, an official announcement is still ways off. Although unlikely, it would not be the first time that WB has decided to cancel a show that was in development. Development and production mean different things to a studio. Since production for the second season is not underway yet, anything can still happen. There are many reasons though why a studio would agree to a second season that has nothing to do with the quality of the show. Canceling any series within the first season never looks good. The studio has likely pushed a lot of money into production and thus would be eager to turn over a profit. Alternatively, maybe the show truly is as successful as HBO originally suggested. It is far more likely though that hate watching and curiosity played a far larger role in the viewership than many within the production of Velma would want to admit. Unfortunately though, hate watchers can only bring you so far, and with the curiosity dried up, the core viewing audience for the show might have left as well. With the final episode of the first season now concluded, many felt that the story fell way short of garnering any hype for a new season. As the show progressed throughout the episodes on a weekly basis, the audience decided to slowly move away as well. Many were already not a fan of this reimagining and many felt even more disappointed with the season final. Although I know that most who have not watched the show by this point likely won't bother to do so now, I will not reveal any spoilers. It is worth pointing out though that the show takes a turn that even further moves Velma away from the original Scooby-Doo series. Overall, it has been interesting to watch the online discourse take shape. 
Velma might have fallen short of what they set out to accomplish unless their goal was to ruin a classic IP. But the online conversation has definitely been worth it though. It has been interesting to watch some outlets bend over backward to push some narrative down everyone's throats if you dared to not like the show. Although opinions might differ at 7%, I would say that the opinions are pretty unanimous. Now, all we can do is wait for a second season and hope that they don't further ruin any memory of Scooby-Doo we might have left, although we all know that is just wishful thinking.